Hey guys, Joe here at ECRM's Pet CBD Session in Cape Coral, Florida, and I'm with Ryan from Zuri CBD. Uh, thanks for joining us once again. Yeah, absolutely. It's been a great time here um, in the uh, show. Uh, very informative. Glad you're having a good a good session. And now we've spoken before in the past at our pet session. So for those of you who may have not seen the video, I'd like you to give them a recap, an uh, overview of what you guys do. Yeah, so uh, Zuri is obviously a CBD manufacturer. Um, we have a pharmaceutical grade uh, clean room, uh, approximately 10,000 square feet, just west of uh, Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, we manufacture a broad uh, portfolio of CBD products, which obviously includes a, a pet product line, mm -hmm. uh, a spa product line, uh, tinctures and topicals, and we'll be launching a skincare line as we move into 2020. Excellent, and, and I think that's a very important thing because I know here at the session, a lot of buyers have been asking me uh, trying to find out who those suppliers were that have cross-category offerings because they, if they start with one, they want to expand and it's good to work with one supplier. So you're able to do that. Absolutely. Uh, we have a broad portfolio of about 90 SKUs that we manufacture all in-house, uh, that we do all the required testing requirements, mm -hmm. have COAs for each individual product. Um, we uh, have a CGMP certified capabilities mm -hmm. uh, as well as ISO accredited. Um, we're going to be FDA registered here in the near future. Um, we, uh, we're operating at a high level with HEPA filters, including uh, UV lighting in our clean room. Okay, and we did do a tour of their facilities uh, a few weeks ago. So what I'll do is I'll put in the comments, I'll put some links to the videos that we took there. And uh, so what do you have new for here for the pet CBD session? Yeah, so for the pet CBD session, we have a couple uh, topicals mm -hmm. that uh, has gained strong interest. I think the topical market in the in the pet space is one that's going to be intriguing as yep. we move into mm -hmm. 2020. Uh, we have a pet shampoo that uh, can help with a pet's coat, making it much more healthy, okay. shiny. Uh, and then we also have a pet hotspot spray <laughs> that can assist with uh, irritations that can occur uh, in those hotspot areas. Uh, our, our philosophy on it, and you'll, as you look at our ingredient pro profile, mm -hmm. Uh, is uh, we put a lot of additional ingredients into mm -hmm. our products, both pet and human, gotcha. uh, above and beyond just the cannabis okay. that provide uh, uh, additional potential benefits. Okay, so these are the, they're functional as well, not Absolutely. just the CBD, but the ones for the uh, pet shampoo and the hotspot, you have ingredients in there in addition. We want to, we want to take advantage of the opportunity mm -hmm. to provide a, 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 a high value, um, uh, highly effective product for that customer. Okay, and I think uh, the fact that you offer topicals for pets is important as well because you know you have, as we saw last year with CBD, retailers started with topicals because they just feel more comfortable starting with that and then maybe later on get into the ingestibles. I'm assuming that might be the same for pet as it is in human. Yeah, it's the same for pet as it is in human. Uh, and there's a lot of creativity that you can do with topicals mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. Um, and, and our topicals in particular uh, come at a nice entry level price point. Mm -hmm. uh, most retailers can retail them below $20 okay. um, as opposed to a tincture, uh, which we make a great tincture as well. Yeah. But you're looking more into that $30, $40, $50 okay. range, maybe even $60 range for even a soft chew. And it's a nice entry level point for somebody to get used to utilizing a cannabis product seeing the results mm -hmm. and then and then maybe move it into a, a higher priced product excellent so like a, a, a non-pet retailer you know like let's say a grocery chain they can start with you on a limited basis with uh, the pet topicals kind of ease their way in and then expand from there pretty much soup to nuts sure and, and, and not just the pet side of the business mm -hmm. too that we can provide a high quality product mm -hmm. we also can provide a, a human product as mm -hmm. well um, and, and have that cross-selling opportunity for the, the pet store um, because humans also obviously are, are looking for uh, for a variety of different products as well we manufacture products that are full spectrum mm -hmm. uh, broad spectrum isolate products as well as uh, as well as water soluble so we have a wide portfolio of, of products that we can offer any retailer. Excellent, and you mentioned one thing before when I was talking to you that I thought was interesting. Since at our pet session, we did have about maybe 20 CBD suppliers, and uh, but in your meetings there, you, you mentioned that the buyers seem to have gotten they're more educated now, a lot more educated than they were back then. Yeah, it's a, it, it, the, the conversations have been fantastic. Yeah. Um, as opposed to having very 
um, uh, entry level, if you will. Like what is or, CBD, CBD 101, yeah. Correct, early conversations. Mm -hmm. we're, we're jumping right in yeah. to, to, to a little bit more of the intricacies okay. of uh, extraction process, mm -hmm. of uh, what the difference is between the different extractions that you can get out of the, the hemp plant, full spectrum, isolate, um, how those might affect uh, a, a pet or a canine animal who has four times the CB1 receptors as humans okay. and may react a little bit better to an isolate product than a full spectrum product. And, and these are conversations that are really exciting and uh, as, as, as this whole industry moves forward. Yeah, well, it's great seeing everybody moving forward and I look forward to seeing how you progress uh, as time goes on. Absolutely, thank you, Joe, it's been a great time. Thank you. Take care.